What's up, people? Let's start this over because my camera has stopped. I hate when that shit happens. Okay, long story short, this is going to be a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. Okay, today's day, June 24th, Wednesday afternoon. It's about 5.30 p.m. I'm trying to get myself together here. Um, but let's jump into your reading, Scorpio. What I could tell you, Scorpio, is that um you're dealing with a, a, a Gemini. You're dealing with the... Um, an Aquarius, you're dealing with a Libra, you're dealing with a Cancer, you're dealing with a Virgo, a Capricorn, you're dealing with a Leo, okay? Um, what I could tell you is that the Leo, or all, all the above, views you as being a player, okay, Scorpio? Because you got King of Wands, King of Coins, King of Cups, King of Swords, okay? You got um, you got two Queens where you got a, a, a Queen of Wands and uh, you got a where was that other queen at? Where did I see that? Where, where her ass at? Okay, you got a queen of cups and you got a queen of wands, okay? But like I said, you got kings going all the way across the board, okay? So everybody views you as being a damn player, okay, Scorpio? Or you could view the situation between you being with players, okay? Or you might view the situation where every time you turn around, you keep, you know, attracting the same type of person who's a player, a cheater, a liar, all that, Okay? Um, like I said, you got two queens. Queens represent uh being very intuitive. Okay, so you could have dealt with a water sign who's very intuitive, or you're dealing with a fire sign who's very intuitive. You also got a couple of uh, a couple of knights up in here. You got a a knight of swords. Okay, and, and where did I see that other damn knight? Where they at? Where they at? I know it's a mess right now because my damn camera cut off. <laughs> but anyway, you got two knights up in here and two queens. Okay. And so, yeah, there's this knight of uh, wands, okay? Knights, for me, just represent something that's quick. You know what I'm saying? Get in, get out. It could be a one-night stand when you have knights. You know what I'm saying? Nothing long-term, okay? So, the situation between you and Aaliyah was real short. You know, was nothing serious. Uh, the situation between you and the air sign, uh, real short, nothing serious, okay? Um, with this air sign, Scorpio, uh, you was involved with a Gemini and, and, and uh, Aquarius, okay? So it could be where you might be in denial when it comes to this Aquarius, when it comes to your feelings about how you feel about the Aquarius, because you, you, you're having dreams about this Aquarius, so you're not really sure about the situation, but you keep having dreams about this Aquarius, and so it could be popping that you're in denial about this Aquarius, but... um. You was dealing with a Gemini, okay, where you kind of fell in love with a Gemini, okay? But um, somehow it's like you're wanting to see balance between the both the Gemini and the Aquarius, but you could have also been fucking around with a Libra, okay? So that's for some of you because I got over 4,000 people in this motherfucking uh, group here, okay? So um, like I said, with the Scorpio, you ended things with a uh, Cancer, okay? Because you do got that damn chariot card, okay? And like I said, with that King of Cups, somebody views you as either being the player, okay? Because you're dealing with a tutor, uh, a Cancer, who's very intuitive at this time. So they're hip to your shit, okay? But then you got these two pages, so it could be where you want to make an offer to this uh, to this uh, water sign, okay? But this water sign got their back turned on you, Eight of Cups, okay? Want to see new journeys and beginnings elsewhere, uh, okay, this cancer can have other options with the seven of cups, okay, but you do uh, still hold on to the good times between you and this cancer with this six of uh, cups, but this cancer outgrew the situation between you and them because they've used being a player and uh, you can't seem to get your mind off of this uh, cancer because because you view the situation as being hopeless where you could be a bit depressed and down with this five uh, cups, okay? And so, like I said, you, you can't get this uh, cancer off your mind. You understand what I'm saying? Or it could be the cancer can't get you off their mind. The cancer might be hurt and take it out, resonate, flip it if you need be, okay? And it's like... um. With this cancer, the attraction is mutual. Where you're attracted to the cancer, the cancer is attracted to you. Okay, so it could be where you're wanting to have a new beginning with the cancer, or they might be wanting to have a new beginning with you because things ended between you and the cancer. Okay, so let's see. They're resisting the urge to get with this uh this Aquarius, this Gemini Aquarius, or this damn uh Gemini. What I say, Gemini Aquarius Libra, because they all here. Shit. Okay, resisting the urge to get back with this uh air sign. 
because somebody got their heart broke uh, with this damn ear sign where there was a third party situation where somebody had to take time to go within and heal from the situation that the heavenly heart broke. Uh, this ear sign got up and left your ass, okay? Because the situation between you and this ear sign was in and out. It was a lot of uh, mind manipulation, a lot of game playing. It wasn't serious. It was just a fuck here, fuck there, okay? Where somebody got stabbed in the back, okay? And so now it's possible that uh, you might be wanting to make this uh, ear sign an offer, but uh, it's nothing long term, short term. So it's one of the situations where, like I said, you could be in denial about the situation where uh, you're just wanting to get in and hump one this damn Aquarius, okay, who you're in denial about, or you're hoping to uh, attract this damn Gemini back in, or you might be wanting to seek balance between you and this Libra, okay. But the bottom line is, um, you either want to take a leap of faith with this damn Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, or it could be that somebody have left to change in this situation dealing with this air sign. Okay, moving on to this damn um, earth sign. Okay, you're dealing with a damn earth sign, Virgo, uh, Capricorn. Okay, so the situation between you and this Virgo Capricorn was a bit toxic. Capricorn is a toxic individual, somebody with multiple addictions, habits, that sort of thing. Okay, uh, Virgo hermit mode. So Virgo might not want to fuck with you right now because they're on hermit mode. And so the situation between you and this earth sign is a bit dried up with this ace of, uh, you know, ace of damn coins. And so uh, it could be that this earth sign is working on their coins right now, working hard. And so uh, you might view the situation between you and this earth sign as being a, a bit out in the cold or maybe not having enough. Or this earth sign may feel that they don't have enough and view themselves as being out in the cold. And so when it comes to the skills, weighing, weighing things evenly between you and this Virgo or this Capricorn, unevenly yoked, somebody was given more of a even less okay so it could be that somebody could be a bit frustrated right now or be stressed out when it comes to work and so they're concentrating on their work right now with this seven of damn uh coins okay and so basically taking time out to reevaluate the situation examine the situation between you and them the part that y'all played when it comes to this damn earth sign and so now this earth sign is receiving you know receiving their rewards okay being abundant right now okay so this earth sign is pretty much doing them okay and so it could be with this earth sign viewed you as being a player or they view you as being toxic okay so this is why this earth sign is on hermit mode to get away from you okay moving along okay dealing with this damn uh leo strength card okay so you and the leo okay this this seems to be some type of a block between you and this damn leo look up with this leo you're waiting for the right moment to approach this leo but you might be afraid to approach this leo because you're intimidated by this leo when it comes to the path crossing this leo's path because it might have been some type of conflict and petty between you and this leo where somebody didn't want to admit to their you know wrongdoing and so you might view this leo as being out in the spotlight being a bit popular so you could be a little bit envy and so uh with you and this leo so Somebody was lacking the commitment, wasn't ready to commit and settle down. Situation between you and Leo is a bit distant right now. And so you view the situation between you and this Leo as being a bit burdened. You don't really want to fuck with him. But you're kind of thinking about wanting to take swift action to come in and kind of have a one night stand or, you know, hoping to lay down with him. Nothing long term, something short, you know, get in, get out. OK, but this Leo is on to your bullshit, uh, being very intuitive right now. So this Leo's like they really don't want to fuck with you because they view you as being a player. OK, and so right now, uh, Scorpio with this high priest, um, high priest can be where, uh, you're listening to your intuition at this time, okay? Spirit is telling you to have faith in your situation, okay? But with this world card, it's possible that you're holding on to somebody because you got a lot going on, okay? Pick and choose, okay? Uh, and so it could be where somebody views you as being self-sufficient, independent, you know, don't really need nobody, or you view somebody else, okay, whoever it is you're dealing with, okay, only you know, right, so you could be dealing with somebody who's self-sufficient, independent, you know, responsible, trustworthy, but you're trying to figure out which one of these motherfuckers you want to be with, okay, all right, or either they try to figure out, you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying, empress, you know, somebody independent got their shit together okay because like i said you do got two queens all right you got two queens you got two pages you got a bunch of kings going across the board so either you was attracting the same type of person where you was fucking with all players 
and you know, and add all these players who you was fucking with. Two of them were nights where they just wanted to get in and get out. Okay, you was fucking with a damn devil, Capricorn, toxic situation. Whatever you used being toxic. Okay, you broke up with a cancer, so now you want to cancer back. Okay, you was you was fucking around with this damn uh, Aquarius, damn Libra, damn Gemini, and you're trying to make up which one you want to be with because it's like you might be in love with this Gemini, but you might be in denial when it comes to this damn Aquarius, and but you wanting to see some type of balance when it comes to you and this damn Libra. Okay, good luck, Scorpio. <laughs> That's been your damn reading. That was a whole damn lot. I gotta go. Be good.